Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's been calling me to congratulate me on the baby. She's doing good. You know, they're monitoring her. and They're still monitoring me. Oh, you saw, you saw a picture of her? How did you, um, I didn't post, uh, did you see a, hello? How, feels good. I didn't think it would feel any different or like special because I have been through so many pregnancies, but there's still that magic to it. I'm just a little perplexed right now because someone in my family said they saw a picture of Charlotte online already and I didn't post her. Yep, that's family, unfortunately. Word always travels. Um, your blood pressure is starting to look good. I think we might be out of the red zone, so. Yeah, I guess that's family, but um, that's good about my blood pressure. With the preeclampsia stuff through my pregnancy, it just felt like my blood pressure was always gonna be messed up, but. It's good to hear. I'll be back in like a half hour, and if your blood pressure stays stable, we might be able to get you discharged. It's still monitoring Charlotte, but... Um, I remember a few years ago when my niece was born, um, my sister sent out a photo uh, right after to her friend, and her friend posted it like immediately, and they haven't spoken since. I think it's kind of silly, but... I get why you would be frustrated, you know. It's your baby and you should have a say in, you know, where that baby is posted, but it's none of my business. No, oh, thank you for sharing that. I'll find out who posted the photo. I just, you know, I shouldn't even care, but it is my baby. I, I don't know. It's crazy, the restaurant selection around here is very scarce, but I brought you food. Thanks, but mom, I don't understand, like, everything that my mother-in-law has done over the years and everything I've been through, you would think, like, you'd have the common sense to not post Charlotte online without asking me. Like, I, I know eventually I was going to post her, but still, it just bothers me that, like, everyone gets to see the baby without me even knowing. Like, I don't know how you don't have that common sense. Miranda. What is it, mom? What do you have to say? Miranda, I didn't post a photo of her. I took one photo and it has not left my phone. I mean, it was just you and Brian in the room. I don't think that... I'm back. You know, I can't believe we had a baby and they still make you pay for parking. Uh, I was the one that posted that photo, not your mom. You posted it? You don't even have social media, Brian. Like, where did you post it? Yeah, I, I have Instagram. I don't use it a lot, but this is one of those times where it's a big milestone. Why? Is it a problem? Um, no. I... I wasn't ready to. I, I wasn't ready to post her. I, I know it's not a big deal to you guys or whatever, but I wasn't ready. Here's your food. I'm going back downstairs. Oh, uh, geez. You know, I heard you talk to her and, um, might want to apologize. Well, I can't, I'm hooked up to machines. I can't leave the bed and she just stepped out. I really wish you would have just, like, asked first. Miranda, sweetheart, with all due respect, Charlotte's my daughter, too. I didn't think I needed permission to post her to Instagram. I don't even have that many followers on Instagram, so I don't see what the big deal is here. I know, but I, I think it's kind of understandable to, for me to be a little hesitant to post Charlotte to the world when I have this situation with my ex-husband and all his family, and it just... I wanted to keep her a little private for a bit. All right, but again, with all due respect, I'm not going to base my postings around your ex-husband, especially regarding my daughter. I'm proud of my daughter, I love my daughter, and I want to show her off to the world. I don't care what your ex-husband thinks, or what he says, or, or what he says he's going to do. Don't care. It's not about him, like, preventing us from doing it. It's just a personal thing that, like... Everything in my life is out in the world and, and public and Junior's always caught up with things and Junior's always on camera and I kind of wanted it to be different with Charlotte, you know? And now, like, you be... I just... I don't know. It just would have been nice to consult with me before posting her, that's all. You know, it's crazy. We were so strong during your pregnancy and the second that Charlotte's born, I feel like you and me just can't agree on a single thing. Before I leave... You saw Miranda's baby? You mean Charlotte? No. I haven't seen the baby yet. Who posted the baby? Lover boy Brian posted it on his Instagram. 
can't believe I get the welcome. Blah, 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 blah. All right, yeah, let me let me see her. Yeah, here. Hope they're happy. See, I'm paying child support. Can't see my son. They're, they're having the time of their life in the hospital celebrating uh, the birth of their baby. And she was married to me. <laughs> and now look, look how things change. It's so crazy how things can change like that. Like, I, uh, I never imagined another man being in the delivery room with my wife. Like, no, no one understands how that feels. No one, no one puts themselves in my shoes. No matter what me and Miranda have been through, obviously I'm gonna feel something, right? Oh, she's really cute. I don't really know what premature babies look like, but she doesn't look premature to me. She looks healthy. I you think she's cute? Look, I don't mean to be mean to a baby, but there, there is a difference between a cute baby and an ugly baby, all right? And I don't think Charlotte's cute. All right, Joey, it's a, a nice thing to say about a baby who has nothing to do with any of us or the past or situations. You're just saying that because you're mad at Miranda and you're resentful and it's understandable, but don't, don't take it out on a baby. Got nothing like personal against the baby. I'm just saying she's not, she's not cute or whatever. And and sh what's with the name Charlotte? Like is she is Charlotte's Web? Like it's such an ugly name. It's an old ass name too. Like it's 2024. Yeah. See, um, you're just you're being mean. All right. Let's let's not be mean to babies. Ma, you used to hate this woman, man. We used to fight over Thanksgiving and who got to see Junior. And you couldn't stand my ex-wife. And here you are looking at her baby, calling it cute. It's not my baby. Like, what's happened to you? I, I, I don't like this version of you. Joey, I don't, I don't have long to live. Maybe I do live 30 more years, but I doubt that. I want to spend the rest of my life knowing my grandson. And the only way for me to know my grandson is to not repeat the mistakes and behaviors of my past. I wish you could just take a page from my book and try to better yourself like I am. I'm doing everything right from, the, from since the DY up. I haven't done nothing wrong. I'm paying my child support, I'm trying to make my life right. If I want to call a baby ugly, I'm going to call a baby ugly. You're not going to cancel me for saying that, all right? It's so ironic you say that about the baby when the baby does look like you. Don't you dare start with that. Don't ever. No. I don't look nothing like that. That looks like lover boy Brian. Don't, you're not going to get me to pay extra child support. That's not my kid.